Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this very sweet little pop-up box card in the style of crate of beer. So I've got the beer bottles to the best dad. This could be Father's Day, birthday, and then on the back it says it's your, it's your day. So it literally could be for either of those. I've got the pearls there to look like faux hardware. I've got some baker's twine there just to give it a nice little extra something. And I think it's it turned out really nice. And you could change the colours of this. It doesn't have to be beer. You could have bottles of wine in there if you wanted to. Be all kinds of things. It could also work as like a tool. Um, what are they called? Caddy. So you could have all different tools coming out of this as well. And I think that would look really good. Very straightforward to make. You don't need any specialty dies for this one. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need three pieces of three quarters of an inch by five. They're going to be for the front. And I've already inked all of these up. I've used craft card and then I've used my vintage photo or it may have been the walnut stain to just ink up all of the corners there. I've got this piece here which is two and a half by five to go on the back along with this piece which is four and three quarters by two and a quarter. That's going to go on the top and that will be where you write your message. This piece is then optional so this will turn it into like a little carrier. This is four by five. I've cut two pieces and stuck them together. And then I've just cut using my die, just a little rectangle shape there for the handle. But again, you don't even really need to add a handle if you don't want to, you could just have this as a plain piece. But the handle size, because everyone's gonna have different dies. But this is, I'd say two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. And then using the same dies. I've just cut these little frames to go on the front and back just to add a little bit of detail. So I'll stick all of that down in a moment. For the sides of the crate, you'll want six pieces of three quarters of an inch by two. Again, I've just distressed all of those with my ink. And then for the slats inside, I've done three. You might just want two. You might even just want one to put in the middle. It depends what you're having popping out. But these are one by six and along the long side there I've scored at half an inch and five and a half you want to do that on both of them and just fold over the sides there I haven't inked these up because you're not really going to see them so they're going to be quite low down um but we'll see I might end up adding it to them in case you can see some of it but you want those ones and then these are your corners so four pieces of one and a half by two and three quarters the height could be taller if you want to uh, it's entirely, again, there's a lot of things that you can change to make it work if you've got something particular that you're using with it. Along that one and a half side, just score at three quarters of an inch right through the middle. And again, I've already gone ahead and I've just inked all of those up just to distress them. I've then stamped and coloured all of these beer bottles here. I've coloured them so they look like a like a bitter or a ruby ale, which is what my, my dad likes. And I've just used some accent glaze just on the tips there of the bottles. I mean, I know all of it's glass, but I just thought it was quite nice just to have it there. And that's using this stamp here from my Have a Drink On Me stamp set. You've also got the whiskey, which I'm going to be featuring in the tutorial. That's got the Have A Neat Birthday. But you've got the beer glass there as well, which I have. And I may well use it. We'll see. It could look quite nice on the front, I guess. And then for the sentiment, I've taken the To The Best from For The Men. This is the Chill Time set. And then I've, taken, and then I've used the Dad here for the Take It Easy set. So you've got some nice, nice sentiments there and some nice icons. You've got the laptop. You like briefcase kind of style, headphones and the beer there as well. And then you've got your beer tankard, radio and the open book there. But there's some, like I said, nice little sentiments and you get some dies there for those. So that's everything ready to go in. This is a really easy one in terms of how I'm decorating mine. But I'm going to take, first of all, the back piece and I'm going to stick one of these onto each corner. And I'm just going to add my glue down here but I'm not going to go right up to the top because that will overhang and then I'm just going to sit that over there now just thinking actually that's going to want to go down first so let's use the this is just a stronger glue this is the Kalau this is the clear construction glue just sit that one over there because I think it looks nicer having this piece stuck over 
rather than the, the white card stuck over this. Now I can just stick that one. You've still got plenty of room there to be able to write your message. Okay, so that's the back. Now we can start building up the sides. You'll want to take your six pieces here, the smaller ones, and I'm going to stick the bottom one down first. So I'm going to just add a little bit of glue onto the sides there. And then I'm going to have this one so it's flush with the bottom. Then I'm going to add this one towards the top and I want it to be in line with the top of this piece. And that way you've got that same amount overhanging at the top there. Okay, again, just make sure you get these straight. If you lay it down on your grid, so I can just move that one a little bit and just make sure they're nice and straight. And then take the other one, a little bit of glue, and then add that in the middle so you've got an equal gap either side. Just make sure that can all fold over. So now we've got the side there coming together. Do the same on this end. And then you want to stick these now on this side here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto each end there and then just line up the bottom like so. Do the same with the other end. Now you want to add these pieces and I think it's easiest to put these in whilst this is open rather than when it's all closed. Now I'm just thinking because these are three quarters of an inch wide I think it's going to be best to have these as three quarters of an inch so I'm just going to trim trim these down because that way they'll be hidden on the side. I didn't think about that until now so I'll just trim these ones. Okay, so I'm going to take one, add some glue, like so, and then I'm going to hide this behind the middle strip there. And I'm just going to stick it so it's kind of butted up to that score line at the back there. You can see how that's positioned. Okay, so that's that one. I'm then going to take the next one. Again, add my glue and fold it over. And this time you're going to butt it up on above that one that you just stuck down. So I'm just sitting it next to that one there and then fold that down. And you'll see that that tab will sit just above the other tab at this end. And then I'm going to take this one here and you're going to do exactly the same. So fold it over and butt it up next to that one there. And that will then give you another half inch section here. So you've got them all equally spaced. So now they should run over each other nicely. And then you just want to add some glue onto the tops of each of these tabs. And then just fold that flat. And again, just make sure that they are hidden. So that is how my card's going to fold flat. And now when I bring that up, can see we've got those strips all ready for us to be able to stick the beer. Now for the front I just need to stick the rest of these down so I'm just going to add a little bit there. I'm going to keep it down like this. In fact what you can do now is add the glue at both ends and you can just stick them both down at the same time. I'm just going to lift that one up. Just keep it nice and parallel with the one behind there. Like so. And then again, I'm just going to slide this one. I'm just lining it up with the one underneath. So that's the middle one. And then this last one. I think this would look really good as like a little pen of some kind. It could be like a farmyard theme card or something. You could have like the horse, maybe some pigs kind of popping out. And I'm just going to slide that one in there and I can just move that around until it's lined up with the other one there. Yeah, it's got a kind of pen look to it at the moment. Okay.
And now bring it all up and you can see we've got our crate. And now I'm going to just stick these little frames on to this piece. Okay, and now I'm going to stick this one on to the middle strip. So I'm just going to add my glue all along there. And just sit that one on the top there and just make sure it's in the middle. I'm happy with that. And now I can start sticking all of the beer. So some of them are going to be hidden at the back. In fact, I might turn those around and maybe just have two at the back and have the rest all at the front. So I'm just going to add my glue just on the bottoms. And I'm going to start with one in the middle, like so. And just keep doing that until I've stuck them all down. that's everything stuck down and then what I thought would be a nice little touch was to use some of this baker's twine and wrap it around the top part of the handle right the way along so it's really tightly wrapped and I just yeah I think it's just a nice it's not sometimes nice to add different materials to your paper craft so I think it's going to be a little bit messy so I think I'm just going to add all along that side On that side. I start off with the join on the back and if I just probably don't think I'll need all of that but it's best to have more than I need and then I'm just going to start with that right at the end and just weave it around. I do like to add work for myself. I think it'll look good. And then just seal it by going over it all with some glue and then that will just dry hard. That's that now stuck down. I think it looks really good. And then I thought it'd be nice to add some faux hardware. So I'm going to use these pearls here because they're grey. I think they're going to work quite well to look like faux hardware. So I'm going to add three on each panel, kind of in the middle of each of the strips there. I'm going to go for this medium kind of size. They've got adhesive on them, but I always say I always like to add a little extra glue just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. And there's the finished card. I'm really pleased with this. I think it looks wonderful. I love the um, added pearls there. I do think they work well. And then you can see the back, you've got your space there for your message. I love that little extra with the handle. And then I'm not sure, I don't think I'm gonna add the glass. I did think about maybe just sticking it on the back there, but I think it looks a bit odd. So I'll keep that for another project, but it all folds flat. So which way was it? That way there. And this will fit in a it's just over so it's seven and a quarter i mean you could easily bring that in just cut these strips um you know a quarter of an inch shorter so four and three quarters rather than five if you want it to be seven and then the height is it's six so it would go into my latest box envelope that i've just put up which is a six by eight size um but again if you just stick that down further if you, so if you stick it down right to the bottom that it will all come into your five by seven size so it's, it's up to you i mean things like this i sometimes think are just quite nice to pop in a hamper all like it is and that's the card you know it's just there with the gift you can also just pop in a little gift bag looks nice as well but i love that one so i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial i will link 
everything that I've used today in the description box below. I'll pop up some other pop-up box card styles here now as well because you might want to watch those for some more inspiration and like I said before if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and hit that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload something new. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye!